of Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. All right, starting to see a high pressure build into the forecast, and that means it returns to a nicer couple of days in terms of more sunshine. Certainly, we'll see if we can't get the temperatures to go north of 60. It's been a little hard to do that last couple of days. And we'll finally see the snow line start to rise above the uh, passes as well. A little slippery going over the passes last couple of nights and overnights into the mornings. So there is our storm starting to kick eastward. Now, Duck fans are going to be flying into Boulder for the game this weekend, Friday, that will bring some uh, chance of rain-snow mix. So it is likely going to be kind of slushy across Denver, and then I think even into Salt Lake, if you're going to be hopscotching there for tomorrow. So keep that in mind. Now, Saturday for the game looks pretty good. Temperatures will be in the low 50s, and we'll also see mostly sunny skies. So what we're looking at here is there's our ridge of high pressure starting to build in. We've got some precipitation offshore. All of that is sliding southward, though, as the winds are starting to turn out of the north. Temperatures Again, today, well cooler than they should be this time of year. 60 in Eugene officially, so we did get to 60 degrees, but we should be at 70 degrees by this time of year into early October. Right now, we're sitting in the mid to upper 50s across the valley, mid to low 40s in the mountains, 47 in Bend, and around 47 out towards Florence. Chilly night again tonight. It'll be clear for most part, and then we'll see the morning fog fill in pretty quickly just at or around sunrise, but I think it'll be gone pretty quickly. Now, we've also got freeze mornings out for right outside of Bend and Redmond. Those go from midnight through 9 a.m. We'll likely see another couple of cool, chilly nights as high pressure is starting to build in from the south. Now, that will start to bring back some warmer air with it as that will start to pull it up from California, and it's also going to be blocking this next low to the north of us, and we'll keep those showers at bay until about Monday or Tuesday. So chilly night as we get down into the 30s tonight, sunny and warmer this weekend, including tomorrow. Saturday and even into Sunday, the showers have been backing up because that high has been strengthening. So we're going to keep those out of the forecast till Monday. And then right now, it looks like it'll be fairly quiet for most of next week. So we'll go mostly sunny tomorrow with the coast. Temperatures will stay in the mid 60s. And then slight chances for showers, I think, late Saturday night, Monday, Tuesday, a little better, more widespread coverage along the central coast for sure. The Umpqua Basin, a foggy start, nice sunny finish. Getting close to 70 tomorrow and likely will be in the mid 70s for Saturday before some isolated showers to start early next week. 10,000 feet in the freezing levels. Temperatures will be in the low 50s, around 57 to 58 degrees in Bend and Redmond. Nice sunny forecast and warm one as well. Back up to 70 by the weekend. And in the valley, we'll see temperatures around 61 to 62 for tomorrow. So again, still below average. We're not going to get up to 70. But boy, that's 67 and sunny. I'm telling you, that's going to feel more like about 95 Whew. in sunny compared <laughs> to uh, just how just raw it's been most of this week. Counting the minutes for that. Yeah. Sure there's a lot of cars being washed this weekend. Oh, yes. Students and staff.